What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. We have a new player. The Alwaran card is insane. I, I'm not usually one for player reviews, but this guy, pff, honestly, any position I play, I mean, he's insane. He's good with both feet. He's good in the air. He's good at dribbling. He's He's, he's got that crazy left foot that has the played style plus finesse shot oh my god what a card so happy i did him over vinicius but i will do vinicius at some point um but yeah if you've got the fodder in your club guys highly recommend doing this card i've not played with many better cards than that one and um, that is no exaggeration when you consider i've got some insane wingers on my bench and not only that he can play in numerous positions as well which is such a bonus um Anyway, we're going to go to a tactic that is probably my new favourite tactic. It's the 4-3-1-2. Um, the reason I say it's my one of my favourite formations at the minute, I've been using it for a little while, been tinkering, messing around with it, and it plays very similar to the 4-3-2-1, which of course is what everybody's using at the minute, with the added advantage of when you defend, you defend in two banks of four and then a line of two. So effectively, you're a 4 3 Four three one two when you attack, but a four four two when you defend, and I absolutely love that. I love any formation that defends in a four four two, because you know where every single player is going to be. So stay tuned to watch the instructions to see how that works. Anyway, we're going to jump straight into the tactics of this one. It's forty width, sixty five depth, balanced, direct passing, fifty two on the width again, seven in the box, two from four corner, two in corners, two at free kicks. Um, yeah, we'll drop some gameplay in. Of course, we concede goals. We're always going to concede goals. However, it's the defending side of things. Now, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in or not, but the way this defended against a 4-3-2-1, for example, after about the 35th, 40th minute, I've had four or five opponents quit purely because they can't break my defence down and they just want a quick goal. They're, they're expecting their formation to just get them through and it didn't work. Um, I'm not going to obviously show them clips because they're quite boring, but you can see where I'm going with this formation. So anyway, let's jump into some gameplay. You can see what I mean, how it defends, because that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the way it defends, not the way it attacks. We know how this is going to attack. We just want to see how you know how this defends and how I make it defend with a 4-4-2. So yeah, we'll jump into the gameplay and then we'll do the instructions towards the end of the video. So we've transitioned to our 4-3-1-2 uh, formation. You can kind of see where everybody is on the pitch and um, you can see your front three are now quite close together which is I like that I like when they're closer together I like it more that they're closer together than to say the 4-3-2-1 is or the 4-3-3 and three, three. Um, you can see on the edge of the box as well they're quite close together and Al Alwyn is just an absolute beast in this game can't recommend them enough now what we're going to do here you can clearly see the bank of fours that I was talking about. The four defenders, the four midfield players, the cameras come into that midfield to make it a four. And you're defending a four, four, two. And you can see your two strikers are just hovering. They're taking the centre backs. Um, so you have a few passing options, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and you can see that nearly everybody is involved in the midfield and you're not limited. You know, I've got a CM. It's a nice goal there. Now, what we're going to do in a second, I'm just going to pause some gameplay just to kind of explain what I'm trying to achieve with this one. So right here, you can see that where sal has got the ball, it's a bank of four. The cam at the top of your screen, I'm going to highlight him now. He is playing basically RM. You've got your bank of four right there. Now, if you watch the cam top of your screen and watch his run, you will see that on the attack, we go from a 4-4-2 instantly into a 4-3-1-2. So just watch the cam. Watch the run he makes. I'm not calling his run. I'm not asking him to make a run. It's a natural run to get back in that position. Uh, we lose the ball. You can see now he's sidestepping back, sidestepping back. There, he gets the ball back. Nice ball forward to Arari. And then we get a nice little goal. So I hope that kind of makes sense of what I'm trying to achieve. You do need the work rates for that particular camera. So I also thought I'd show us something a little bit different. So I'm doing this Galazzo Extravaganza Cup as well. And I'm using the exact same setup. However, it's just a different team, obviously, because it's the 89 max. Um, so I'll get to use players that I haven't used for a long time. Um, and players that I haven't used full stop, which is one of the reasons I like to play these cups. Because otherwise, I probably wouldn't try these players out. You know, players like the uh, Birthday Soloff, 
or I haven't used Cantona for a long, long time. And he was probably the first icon I've had and I haven't used him for such a long time. And he's such a good card as well. And it's the same as the 89 Hullet. I did his SBC right at the very beginning and then I packed his 90. So he's kind of been redundant. So it's good to use these players and try these different formations and different setups out like the right back there haven't used him before haven't used Eto before so yeah i like they're a bit monotonous these these cuts because everybody seems to go the same way it's a 442 or a 4321 uh constant press and then just mess around and try and get goals like that. it is a bit mundane but it is what it is and we're all trying to achieve the same goal so you know i thought well i need to do these challenges i need to do this this objective so i might as well show you guys that i'm using it um in there as well obviously um because it's the constant a lot of people use constant press against me it kind of throws your team around so you can't really see the two banks of floor and the two but you get the idea from the previous videos and from the rival gameplay um, um i'm using this in the weekend league as well again it's in one of my slots i love this formation at this point in time it's really good it's really helpful um, and, and it's a lot of fun as well, you know, and if you start this formation, you could probably get some players in there that you wouldn't normally put in your squad, if that makes sense. Like I tend to have, you know, wingers. Um, but I'm thinking about changing my starting squad and removing the wingers and maybe going just for cams, just to see what happens. That Crouch isn't a bad card, but I evoed his 90, so <laughs> compared to his 90, uh, yeah. But anyway, it's still a pretty decent card. Um, that Francescoli as well is a pretty decent card. Uh, I'm not sure on his price, but again, it's a decent card. And as I was saying, I haven't used Sorloff before, and I've had him a while. So he's a big guy. I wanted to give him a try. Um, so that's what we did. It is worth noting that if you're going to use this in the tournament, in the in the cup, just go all out attack. Just just change the direct. Uh, just change the defence from balance to. Uh, constant press there is no point in trying to sit back or anything i just used it as i set it up so the four three one two and um, you can see my two lines of four there my two strikers hullet's the one that's playing in that cam position gets the ball to front of scully and we get a goal so anyway stop waffling and let's get into the instructions yep i hope you watched the gameplay guys and you see what i was talking about it defends so well the front or the middle four if you like the second bank of four it is so nice to have them spread out taking all the space away from the pitch and you just you just kind of know where everybody's going to be and then when you attack you attack in that four three one two and then obviously if you have your left back and right back on get forward you just overwhelm your opponent which is awesome so anyway left back and right back on this one is stay back and overlap i change it in game for them to join the attack um i don't do it here because obviously you can't do vice versa so it's best to do it this way um yep and it's the same for old gen this is exactly the same for old gen apart from the um, it the, the cam doesn't really drop in as much as you want him to but you still get that eventually it goes into a four not as quickly as it does on a on new gen but it does eventually go into a four so just bear that in mind so yeah you're holding players on stay back while attacking cover center your left cm is balanced cover wing your right cm is balanced cover wing and then your cam is come back on defense and free roam. Now, what that means is your cam will then drop in between any of these players. You don't know which which one it's going to be because um, he's on free roam. But sometimes I can find my cam on the right. I can find him on the left. doesn't matter where he is on the pitch. My holding midfield player is exactly what it says on the tin. He will hold. This guy will float, basically giving you that extra person in midfield. And then these two on your wings. And that is how it plays if you'd seen the gameplay and then your two strikers balance getting behind and stay forward now pairing this guy for example with just one werner up front my god you have such a sweaty fast front forward line it's mad how quick these guys can be so yeah definitely i highly recommend this formation i highly recommend that player if you're thinking about doing the SBCs and things like that, I, I can't recommend this guy enough if you have the fodder. I will check on Footbin to see how much he is um, because he is quite expensive to do like 89, 88, etc. etc. So, yeah, bear that in mind when you're doing it. But unfortunately for me, I had the fodder to do it and, and that's why I did it. Um, 
and obviously I'm using like Matson for example and um, De Jong etc etc because I'm doing some challenges at the time of you watching this so obviously I'm going to mix and match. I have a few more of the Galazzo players as well um, but I will put them in a video later in the week. Um, I think I have four or five of them now. Um, nothing spectacular but they're all like the hero cards but they're worth a go and one of them I'm evo in as well so that's going to be an interesting watch so stay tuned for that one hit that like button if you like what you see comment let me know what you think share the hell out of this video subscribe if you haven't already it's free of charge it costs nothing let's get to 800 subs that would be amazing and I'll see you all again in the middle of the week